function operations. So today we're going to be working with two different functions. These are just examples, but we could do them with any functions. f of x, which will be 2x, and our g of x function, x plus 1. And we're going to see what happens when we combine them in different ways. The first one we'll look at is addition. So if I asked you to find the function f plus g of x, I'm really asking you to find the function f of x plus g of x. So we're going to take f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. So then when we simplify that, we get 3x plus 1. Now for the domain, we want what's going to be common from both individual domains. Now in our case, f of x, the domain is all reals because you can plug any number in for x and this is still a function. And for g of x, it's also all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity, because you can put any number in for x, and it'll still be a function. So in our case, we would have negative infinity to positive infinity for our domain. For subtraction, it's the same idea. f minus g of x is going to be f of x minus g of x. Now with this one, as with subtraction, and when you're generally dealing with negatives, you do need to be a little bit careful because we want to take f of x and we want to subtract g of x. So make sure you put that second function in parentheses so that you'll be able to distribute that negative sign so that we have 2x minus x minus 1. Then when you simplify it'll affect your final answer or your final function. 2x minus x gives you x minus 1. Now for the domain you still want what is common in both functions. So we already said they're all real so again our domain will be negative infinity to positive infinity. Next, next let's take a look at multiplication. When we have f times g of x, we're going to take f of x and multiply it by g of x. So we're going to do that same thing. Take those two functions and then we'll take f of x and multiply it times g of x. So when we multiply, this is one term, we have two terms, so we need to distribute. So 2x times x, this is going to be 2x squared, and then 2x times positive 1 will be 2x. So again, this is already in simplest form, so this is going to be our final combined function, and the domain is still what is common from both. So we have negative infinity to positive infinity. Now for division, it's the same idea. f divided by g of x is f of x divided by g of x. But the restriction on the domain this time, it is what's common in both, except g of x, whatever's on the bottom, cannot be equal to zero. So when we divide this, and we take 2x divided by x plus 1, we can't simplify this any further but when we talk about the domain, we said it's what's common in both, but x cannot, this denominator cannot be equal to zero. So the condition is that x plus one cannot equal zero. So that means that when you subtract one from both sides, we have that x cannot equal negative 1. So we want to say that it is negative infinity to positive infinity, except x cannot equal, sorry, that should be not equals, x cannot equal negative 1. Now the last set, these are composite functions. 
So when we do a composition of functions, now this is not a multiplication symbol. Please pay close attention. So the multiplication symbol will be filled in. When it's a composition, it's going to be open, like an open circle. So f of g of x, that's how you read this. So you're going to take the f function and you're going to substitute the g of x function for x in the f. Now I know that sounds kind of complicated, but this is what it looks like. So we're going to take the f function, start to write it, and then where you see x, that's where we're going to substitute in the g function. So we're going to substitute in x plus 1 for the x in the f function. So g goes inside of f. So this is going to simplify to 2x plus 2. Now here we have g of f of x. So we're going to take the f function and put it inside the g function. So we start off with the g function, but here where we see the x, that's where we're going to put in this f of x function. So 2x, and then we finish off the g function plus 1. Now when we talk about the domain of composition of functions, there are three things you need to do. First, you need to check the domain of the input function, so the one on the inside and then check the domain of the composition function, okay, the one together, and then choose the one that is the most restrictive. So in our case, they're both going to be all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. So that would be our domain for these. But if one of them were to have a specific restriction, and we'll work on some of those examples in class, you have to choose the one that is most restrictive, okay? So that's it for the set of notes. Submit any questions on the website if you have any.